Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about the evil genic setup. So, in order to do evil genic setup, you need three things ready first. First is your own server, the second is own domain name, and the third thing is obviously your DNS. So, you might say that when we buy the domain name, we get the DNS. So, why you are mentioning the DNS separately? Because in some cases, people configure DNS separately. Suppose I can buy the, the domain name on Namecheap or GoDaddy, but I can use Cloudflare as a DNS, right? So that's why I mentioned the uh, DNS separately. Okay, so without wasting time, let's get started. So before starting, here is a quick disclaimer. This video and this course is only for educational and research purpose only. Don't misuse this knowledge. If you are going to misuse this knowledge, then I will be not responsible for your actions or whatever the counter action which will be taken by the corresponding authorities or government. So check your legal boundaries, stay in your legal boundaries and practice in your control environment. Okay. So first thing, as I said, we need our own server. So let me go to the digital ocean because this is what I use for my tutorials. So here I'm going to create this server. So let me create, uh, click on the create. Then I'll select the droplet and in the droplet, I'll select the location New York. Okay. Whatever the default location, I'll just keep it. The OS I'm going to choose is Ubuntu 22.04. Make sure that you also choose the same. If in your cloud provider, the Ubuntu 22.04 is not available, make sure that you choose the Ubuntu's LTS version. It doesn't matter which version you are choosing. Make sure that it is LTS version. LTS means latest stable release. Okay. Uh, then there is a plans. I'm going to go with the regular and $6 plan because there is a no need to get big VPS uh, as uh, Evil Genic setup can work as low as 1 GB, 1, uh, 1 CPU, uh, RAM CPU also, right? Uh, sorry, the server also. So let's scroll further and here I'll choose the password. So let me enter my password. Okay, so I have entered my password. So let's go further and here is a droplet name. So I'll just say here test two, okay? Because I already have one droplet with the test one name. So that's why I'm naming the test two, but you can name anything, okay? So let me click on the create and it should create the droplet, okay? So meantime, let's check our D, uh, domain name. So here is my domain name and DNS. So this is the domain name that I'm going to use, opentfcloud.com. And this domain is purchased on the Cloudflare, so I don't have to configure the Cloudflare for this domain. It comes by default, okay? And this is my DNS right here. So in the DNS, you need to add two records mainly. So let me click on the add record right here. And first record is obviously at, and then we will point to our IP address, okay? So let me go back and uh, let's copy the IP address of newly created server and then paste it right here so right now when i clicked here the small drop down come here with the uh, list of the ip addresses right so these are the old ip addresses i added for my tutorial so these are not valid ip addresses so don't try to be smart and access those ip addresses okay so we need to turn off the proxy uh hence i am using the cloud fair that's why there is a proxy okay otherwise uh, if you are using the uh, digital oceans uh dns then there will be no proxy uh, if you are using Namecheap, uh, GoDaddy's DNS, then there will be no proxy, okay? So let me click on the save and then we need to add the second record. So second record is also quite similar. Here we need to uh, add the star symbol or asterisk, then paste the exact same IP address and save it, okay? So let me tell you what is happening exactly in this particular record. So first we are saying open TF cloud should be pointed to this particular IP address. And here we are saying, whatever the subdomain we create every single subdomain should be pointed to the this particular ip address right because as you know we add uh, rules in the fish slate and evil genix has to create subdomains dynamically so we don't know uh, in the beginning which subdomains is going to be creating so that's why we are just adding the asterisk right here so that Whatever do subdomain is created, it will be automatically pointed to this particular IP address as simple as that. If this looks or sounds little bit uh, complex, then forget about it. There is no need to know about that right now. Okay, so we have DNS configured here. Let's minimize and go to the uh, uh, server. 
let's copy this particular ip address now if you are using windows there is a command prompt called cmd that you need to open okay uh, some of you might say that how can uh, you are using the cmd we can use the putty in windows right there is a no need to use putty because putty also offers the exactly same thing uh, as same as the command prompt the only difference is command prompt requires li little bit additional commands to uh, do some configuration so that's why people prefer the putty but in our case i will use the command prompt only and if you are using linux or ubuntu you can use the terminal okay the command is ssh root and at ip address okay ip address of my server which is copied from right here okay let me hit enter button and let me say yes and it will ask for password so let me enter my password okay and i should have access to my server okay so depending on your network it will take a little bit time so let me enter my password once again i think i entered wrong password okay so we have access right here so let me clear my screen using the clear command and i'll try to make this terminal little bit bigger so that you can easily see okay so very first thing you should be doing on every single vps you create is apt update that will update the repository to the latest version then apt update and dash y to automatically say yes it will upgrade all of the packages in the VPS to the latest version and then we need to install some packages which is apt install uh, I, INSPA okay install uh, first package that we are going to install is wget then second package we need is curl the third package we need is golang that means go language and the fourth package we need is unzip okay so these are the packages we need and uh, obviously the nano will be present by default but in case the nano is not present i'll just say nano 2 okay and at the end i'll say dash yes dash yes means uh say yes to install that means i don't need to confirm uh, every single time when the packages needs to be installed right so once i hit enter it should complete every single thing automatically okay so meantime this is getting completed what we will do we will open our browser right here okay and uh, in the new tab we need to search for the evil genix okay so i'll say evil uh Genix, evil genix and we need to click on this particular first official repository okay make sure that you are choosing this author's name this author is the original author of the evil genix and this is the official repository so when we go to the official repository we have two options either we can clone from this particular source code and build the evil genix and the second option is go to the release and get the binary directly second option is quite feasible and easy to use uh, if you are a beginner then please go with the second option so let me click on this release here uh, let me scroll and can you see here it is saying evil genix dash version 3.3 linux 64 do uh, bit zip right so let me click on right click on it and click on copy link address okay so once that is done we will go back to our vps so everything is ready everything is installed on our vps so let's clear this screen once again and now i'll say wget and i'll paste that particular url that i copied okay so it is saying okay so there is a spelling mistake so w get that should be the command okay so right now can you see it is downloaded the file so if i do ls i can see the files right here okay so either i can extract this file in the correct directory or i can extract in another folder it's up to us how we manage our environment right so let's do one thing let's extract right here so i'll say unzip and i'll mention the path of the zip file that i downloaded and uh, extraction is complete so let's do ls and can you see we got evil genx fish lids redirectors these three files right here we don't need this evil genx zip anymore so let's do rm and remove this particular uh, zip file so if i do ls can you see i am getting the evil genx fish lids and the redirectors folder okay now 
the permission for the evil gen x is not executable so that's why it is appearing in the white okay so let's do one thing ch uh, mode plus x plus x means add execution permission okay and let's say evil gen x and do ls and now everything is ready and evil gen x is turned into the green if the evil gen x is turned into the green that means we have execution permission enabled on that particular binary now if i do dot slash and evil gen x it will execute so let's see yeah it is getting executed okay so when we for execute very first time when we run evil gen x very first time there are few things to notice first thing whatever is displayed here is a very crucial information that tells a lot about your setup uh first thing is loading fishlets from the slash root slash fishlets so that means this is the folder where we need to add the fishlets because uh, evil genic setup is loading fishlets from that folder the second thing is loading the configuration from slash root slash dot evil genic so this is the folder in which we need to edit the configuration because that's where uh, evil genix is looking for the configuration or loading from the configuration right then there is a blacklist mode set to the unauth that means whatever the unauthenticated urls are there that will be automatically blacklisted it will automatically blacklist those ip address and those user will be not able to access our phishing link okay so yeah so that's why we this is really important so next thing is unauthorized request redirection url is whatever it is suppose someone is unauthorized access to uh, our uh, server or our url then it will be automatically redirected to this particular youtube url then there is a https port set to 443 which is correct then dns port is set to the 53 okay uh, it's up to us which dns port we uh, set up uh, on my system on this current vps port 53 is already used by the ubuntu so we cannot use port 53 so that's why we are going to change port 53 then there is a auto set is enabled what is the auto set so when we create the fishlet uh, it requires uh, to get ssl certificates in order to look green on the browser otherwise it will say not secure error or something right so that's why we need a certificates and that uh, certificates getting automatically that process is enabled then there is a blacklist status zero ip is blacklisted then there is an error fail to start name server on 53 as i said port 53 is being used on ubuntu my base os so that port is not available for the evil genix to access so that's why it is getting the error so we will once we change that particular port it will automatically remove that error okay next thing is server domain is not set that's really important uh because we need to add the domain name in the server also then type config domain whatever it is right so this is the command to add the domain then server external ip is also not set that's also important we will set that then there is a obtaining the uh, and starting the up to a tls certificate whatever it is so basically it is trying to get the new tls certificate or ssl certificate but there is a nothing to get so that's why it is zero tls certificates and successfully set up all tls certificates obviously there is nothing to get so that's why it is saying successful setup and it is showing the how many fishlets are there and additional information about the fishlet so this is the name of the fishlet a uh, status is currently disabled visibility is visible host name is not set here we need to set our domain name as a host name unauth url is also not set what if someone is unauthenticated trying to access our phishing domain then what we should do we should automatically authorize to him or we should redirect somewhere else right it's up to us how we want to go okay so that's all about this configuration right here so if i do help right here can you see it is showing me all necessary information so config is the command to change the configuration proxy is the command obviously to add and remove the proxies fishlet is the command to do necessary activities around the fishlet like uh, can you see right here it is saying status disabled so we can uh, use the fishlet command to enable the status we can uh, use the fishlet command to uh, add the host name or not url etc then there is a sessions 
So sessions is a basically the database in which it will show how many credentials are captured, if there is any cookie is captured or not, right? So that's the job of the sessions, okay? In order to show you, I can just uh, type sessions once again here, and it is saying no saved information found because we just uh, started the evil genome, so nothing is captured. So that's why it is saying no information found. Otherwise, it will show one table. In first column, there will be username which is captured. The second column will be password which is captured. Third column will be cookies if it is captured. Then there is a lures, L-U-R-E-S. So this functionality is very useful because this functionality is used to create the actual phishing URL. Okay. So we can create the phishing URL for targeting specific person. And we can create the second phishing URL targeting second specific person person right so that can be done using lures i will explain it later while we are doing it then there is a blacklist as i said we have blacklist mode enabled uh, which is set to the unauth that means whatever the unauthenticated users are there will automatically get blacklisted but it can be set to off also we will see later, later. then there is a uh, test certificates okay so this is basically a really useful command if you are facing issue with the working of the evil genetics and if the certificates are missing you can execute like one single command and it will give get you all missing ssl certificates automatically okay and obviously there is a clear command which will clear the screen okay so i think i have explained everything in this particular uh, uh basically the help option so let's try to do one thing let's try to exit from here and let's try to check the evil genix binary also because not only evil genix program has a help option the evil genix binary also has a help option so let me show you so here i'll say help dash dash help is the command so let me clear the screen so that it will be visible really clearly okay so it is basically showing the uses of the evil genix binary First thing is obviously we can say uh, dot slash evil genix and we can mention tax uh, C that means string and we can pass the configuration directory path. So if you remember in our discussion, we saw that when we uh, first launched the evil genix, the configuration uh, directory path was slash root dot evil genix, right? But we can add our custom path also. Similarly, we have one more option called dash debug. Uh, which will enable the debug output that means it will print all necessary uh, debug information on the terminal so that we can see what is happening uh, then there is a dash developer option dash developer option is really really helpful in case your domain is not getting ssl because it will automatically get self-signed ssls for your host names right so that's why the dot uh, developer option is really useful because see for evil genix when you buy the domain don't buy the domain dot ru dot xyz dot tk dot pk because these are the domains which is blocked by the uh, let's encrypt community let's encrypt the uh, is the company which is offering the free ssl certificates right and evil genix is using free ssl certificate so if you have dot ru domain then there is a high chance that you will not get ssl certificate through uh evil genix process so in that case we need to enable this dash developer option so that we will get self-signed ssl certificates okay then there is a dash p string option uh it is basically for passing the fishlets path so default fishlet path is slash root slash fishlets as we saw when we ran the evil genix at very first time anyway let's try to run the evil genix one more time so that we can see once again here so let me exit it again can you see the loading fishlets from the slash root slash fishlets right so default path is this one if you want to change the path then you can use dash p then there is a configuration from the slash root slash uh, dot evil genix uh, you default is this one but if you want to mention custom path you can use dash c okay uh, then there is dash t or dash t uh, it will uh, here we can specify the redirectors path okay 
डिफॉल्ट पाथ इज ऑब्वियसली द स्लैश रूट स्लैश रिडायरेक्टर्स सो राइट नाउ इट इज नॉट शोइंग बट लेट मी शो यू दिस इज द रिडायरेक्टर्स फोल्डर ओके सो दिस इज द डिफॉल्ट पाथ देन देर इज अ डैश वी विच विल शो द वर्जन ऑफ द एविल जनिंग्स सो एज यू नो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डाउनलोडेड वर्जन थ्री पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट जीरो सो दैट विल शो एक्जैक्टली सेम थिंग एनी वे वेन यू रन द एविल जेनिक्स दैट ऑल्सो टेल्स द वर्जन ऑफ द एविल जेनिक्स राइट हियर ओके सो या दैट्स ऑल अबाउट द एविल जेनिक्स बेसिक्स ऑफ द हेल्प ओके नॉ लेट्स मूव टू द कॉन्फिग्रेशन in next video i will tell you how exactly you can configure the evil genix so that it will be ready to use okay so yeah thanks for watching this one and see you in the next